Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1041. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, click on the link below the video. Wow, we have an amazing Excel table trick. And this comes from Excel MVP Zach Barisi. Here is the link. Now, a well-known problem with the table feature is there's some formulas that you can't copy down a column. One example is formulas with expandable ranges, like a running total formula. So let's look at the running total formula, how if we do it the standard way, we get a, tr a problem, and then we'll see how Zach solved it. Now, I want this as an expandable range, and I want to add the units column. So I'm going to say B dollar sign 6 colon B6. One of the 6 is locked. The other is not. The 6 is allowed to move to 7 and 8 as we copy down. So Control Enter and copy it down. When I put this last cell into edit mode, looking good. But as soon as we start to add new records tab, and I'm going to put some date here. Let's just say 10. No way. They're both showing 21. And as you go down, they'll just be more and more of cells with the same total. So here's an amazing trick. Now, we want to remind ourselves what the index function does. Now, for the array, it's a index is a lookup function. So I'm going to give it this whole column here. And index needs a row number. It's really the relative position, 1, 2, 3, or 4. I'm going to hard code in the number 1. Now, index will obey us. And if I copy this down, it'll always get the first number in that range, the relative position 4. But if we use this same trick in the context of a range of cells, index won't look up the number. It'll look up the actual cell reference. So I'm going to put this inside of sum. I'm going to do index. And watch this. If I'm inside the table, I don't need the table reference, just the field name in square brackets, comma 1. That will give us, right now, if we were to copy this silly formula down, it would just always get the number 4. But let's put it into the context of the cell reference, colon. And then what am I going to do? I'm going to click on that cell, and it puts the syntax for always get from the units column the cell in this row. So that way, when we copy it down, it will move. So this will be, mo this will be relative, this will be absolute, and no way. you got to be kidding me. Control Enter. Copy this down. I'm going to hit Tab, some date there, and let's put 10 again. And look at that. These are all 31 and this amazing, cool solution from Zach for a running total. Or anytime you have an expandable range like this, use index, look up the first one, and then colon at the units. All right, we'll see you next trick.